hello in this video we will discuss about the mumps virus infection so this is our diverse family about the paramyxoviridae this contain a spike protein like other virus and this virus contain a uh, inside is the uh, rna virus so this is the single stranded rna is the negative negative sensor strand and this is a nucleocapsid is surrounded via a uh, for the RNA and the polymerase is attached for the enzyme for the polymerization to produce the positive RNA strand when in fact so this is the M protein and the HN protein and the fusion protein fusion protein is used for the fusion uh, with the host cell so this is the para mixoviridae is a uh, contain a measles virus the para influenza virus and the mumps virus So this is a, it is for children so the respiratory droplets can move inside and bind with the transmission through upper respiratory tract because it's contain receptor more dense. So this is the trachea and lung of the person the children and it is the contagious person to person in fact easily and the respiratory droplets can also move during the breathing breathing in. So the transmission uh, is the upper respiratory tract. The infection period is two days before to uh, five days after uh, parotitis onset. The parotitis means the parotid gland will be swelled. Isolation from saliva as early as seven days period, uh, basically to prior to and uh, up to nine days after parotitis onset. Mumps virus has also been isolated up to 14 days in urine and semen. Let's begin to understand the complication and how the other disease can a cause due to this mumps viral viral infection so the number one is the epididymis uh, epididymitis which that is occur in this way here is the epididymis uh, uh, will be swell inflammation or chitis is basically the inflammation of the testis hole of of right is means the ovary and the fallopian tube swelling the inflammation mastitis mean the memory gland swelling meningitis mean the cerebrospinal fluid infection and the inflammation testicular atrophy and the encephalitis is the uh, basically bulging the uh, for uh, uh, head on the other hand the pancreatitis means the inflammation in the pancreas and hearing loss glomerular nephritis which that will lead to hematuria and proteinuria and rbc cast which that is the result due to the glomerular nephritis after the tree uh, diagnosis Arthritis can be a osteoarthritis or rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis can also complication and myocarditis mean the inflammation of heart muscle. So the prevention let's begin to understand. The chances of mumps decrease by vaccination and the early vaccination will prevent the 90% uh, through a mumps viral viral infection will prevention through a vaccination this is the cell which that's contain dna chromosome so the viral virus when arrive the contain f receptor and h and receptor will bind will lead to fuse fuse with the plasma membrane of the cell of the upper respiratory tract 
and move inside the negative single stranded rna will lead to viral polymerase Positive messenger RNA will produce via viral polymerase enzyme and replication also the negative single stranded RNA. After this, basically, is the polysome formation will occur when the uh, uh, when go into the endoplasmic reticulum, and in this way, the uh, ribosome will bind to form a F protein, fusion protein, and HN protein. as well as to form a other protein nucleocapsid and uh, which that will lead to combine together and the rna also combine together to form a uh, also the protein will bind with the plasma membrane of the host cell this binding with the plasma mem- membrane of the host cell will lead to fusion the a uh, neighboring cell will lead to clump formation and this fusion will lead to multinucleated clump of multinucleated joint cell since uh, since tissue in this way in this way the complication in the sign and symptom will be parotid salivary gland swelling and in this way that increase the temperature due to the high fever and ear achy and the trismus the spasm of chewing the muscle and fever this is the sign and symptom if we will discuss the ear achy and sometimes loss of hear and the trismus the spasm of chewing the muscle and fever anyhow let's begin to understand the transmission to the other organs and tissue so here is a person which that is infected through a upper respiratory tract and the swelling will lead to nasopharynx will lead to move into the blood circulatory system this viral after the replication more will lead to viremia in the blood circulatory system will target to other organ and tissue will damage also let's begin to understand the diagnosis the antibody type and treatment no effective antiviral drugs but the treatment is before the infection of the mumps virus through vaccination this is the prevention mechanism let's begin to understand the prevention after the infection and before the infection so after the infection keep isolated 5 days mumps vaccine before the infection will lead to 90% effective live attenuated vaccine means the inactive uh, or weak uh, pathogen containing vaccine can be introduced to enhance the immunity for prevention of the mumps virus infection This wa- video was the mom virus thanks for watching bye